Hello everyone, today James will show you how to change one of those plain boring chandeliers with the plain jewels into something a bit more colourful and a bit more lively and vibrant and really bring something to life that can look a little bit boring. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Jan. Right, for this little job you're going to need something to hang your jewels onto to dry them off. You're going to need some paintbrushes, some small ones, small headed ones. You're going to need the Vitrol glass paint. Now it comes in all sorts of colours. I've got purple, blue, green, yellow, red and an orange. So I've got quite a nice range. You can mix the colours together and get a, produce your own colour. Um, but I, I quite like the colours as they are. So I, I will use them as they are. Now you want your glass crystal. All right, now if it's already assembled, you can just unhook it. It's quite easy to unhook and then make sure they're clean if it's already been up in place. Um, if it's in the packaging, obviously it's gonna come nice and clean. So then you decide on your color scheme. So you're gonna to need to look at your chandelier and decide what colors you want. You might wanna stick with a palette of red and green or yellow and blue or whatever, or you might have a mix of colors as I've done. Now whatever you're going to hang it onto, I've got an old cup stand here, make sure before you paint it that you can get it over quite easily with one finger because obviously that's going to be wet on both sides. And I suggest that you have different colour brushes for each colour paint if you're going to use a variety of colours. So now assuming that you've decided on the colour that you want to, them to be and they're nice and clean and dry, then you take your paint your glass paint and you literally just put it on. Now it can appear patchy the first time you do it. Don't worry, it adds to the effect. If however you don't like it, give it another coat. I would aim the brush strokes in the same direction because if you do this you'd get that funny effect and it doesn't pick up the light in the same way. So come down from the top, come in from the edges and then up from the bottom. Okay and then you're going to need to turn it as carefully as you can. You're bound to get some on you. It does actually show through to the other side so it isn't always necessary to paint the other side. Or if you want a deeper colour you can. So this is entirely up to you. You don't have to paint both sides, but I'm going to for this one because I want it to be a really deep colour. Again, I'm coming up from the bottom, checking I've got all around the edge, and then I'm going to hook it onto properly brush down and hook it over. This is the tricky part because you don't want to get it drop it or get the paint all over yourself but you're bound to get mucky so there we are I'm ready now to get going on you get the ripple effect sometimes but they actually dry really nicely here's one here that's dry and they do dry really nicely and catch the light what I've done here is I've chosen a different color so when you get your little bead you can choose a different color or of course you could choose the same color on some of these I've actually left the crystal clear because I thought to myself it would look nice just having it clear. Now this one I'm not going to do both sides, I'm only going to do the one side. So there we are, it is as easy as that, just getting the little facets of the crystal. And if you wanted to, because you're only doing one side, you can just lay it down to dry like that. It's as easy as that. Now here is one this is the string that you get across and you can see here how I've chosen to leave every other one or well, not in this case it's a bit random <laughs> every other one or just here and there you can do whatever you want or maybe you can change your mind as you go along and add different colours it's entirely up to you but have a little look and decide what you want and what colours you want and then you get this effect Okay, you want to make sure they're really dry, otherwise you're going to lose the lovely effect because your fingers will smudge and leave fingerprints on it. I left mine overnight to dry. 
I'd say two or three hours. It depends on the humidity in the room and your conditions that you're doing it in. But don't spoil it for want of trying to get it all assembled ever so quickly. I'd leave it a while to make sure it's really dry because because it's glass sometimes it can appear dry but then when you start handling it to reassemble all these little bits you find it's actually tacky so give it time to dry as I say I did mine overnight if you're doing both sides hang them on something if you're just doing one side then just leave it down there it looks equally as good one sided so it saves all of this palaver but that's up to you so we're going to let that dry now and then assemble it and then see the finished effect so when you're ready, just pop them back in when they're dry, obviously. They hook through there, they hook together. It's a bit awkward, but there we go. And then just push it back together. And that's it, and then hook it in the other side. Try to make sure it's not twisted and it, the actual beads are facing, the crystals are facing the right way. And then you can hang all your drop ones on. As you reassemble you'll notice, just as a point of interest, some of the big jewels and some are small so know where the small ones are. Generally the small ones are hanging on the chain across here and just so you can see there's a little hole in there and then that goes back through and hooks over. So if you want to take them apart in order to be able to put them in different colours you can mix and match you can leave them hanging like that of course but it is easier if you take them apart and then you just simply hook them through where all the bits join up so you're just hooking it through there and then clasp it together and there you all have that one you could go bonkers and you could paint all these little bits you'd have to do these in situ up a ladder or when it's in the box obviously sitting on the side you could go this. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have some calm effect about this and have some of the crystals play. If you find when you hang it up, it twists round, just twist it round and make sure this is centred and then all the little facets will face forward. Well, there you are. That's a real quick one for you. Jan's had great fun uh, painting these jewels. I mean, they really do uh, come up lovely and uh, it's something you can customise yourself with no great hardship. It's a fun thing to do. A nice little hobby. So there you are. Just something that we did. We thought you might like to do if you want to brighten up one of those boring old chandeliers and give it some colour. All right. That's it from me and Jan. You know where to go. Usual place. Dirt and 33. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.